These images from 2020 mean different things to different people. Some see a Portland landmark burning in the name of social justice. Others see collateral damage from nightly riots. Either way, the Thompson Elk Fountain was damaged enough to be considered unsafe. It's been socked away in secret storage for more than two years now, while the city figures out what to do with it, when and how much it'll cost. The fountain is made up of 50 pieces, and so we carefully looked at every one of them to figure out how to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Randy Gregg is executive director of the Portland Parks Foundation. This week, he shared results from their feasibility study and cost estimates. They found 18 pieces of the fountain, the ones pictured in orange, need to be rebuilt. Add to that seismic upgrades and a new pump. Estimated cost, $1.2 million. The city also wants to improve access and safety around the fountain. Right now, the only thing protecting you from the traffic is stripes. Estimated cost for that, 670000 Total, nearly $2 million and about six months to complete. This is a, you know, a great public space and we just want to make it the best we possibly can. But who's paying? The city's arts program manager tells us the fountain is insured for $973,000 and the Portland Parks Foundation is accepting public donations. We feel like it's a good opportunity for crowdfunding. Later this year, city council could decide what part of the cost, if any, taxpayers would cover. Last spring, they adopted a resolution to restore and improve the fountain. Some even wore antlers. This monument is uplifting. I don't really see like how like necessary it is to spend that much money on putting it back. Like even if they were able to raise the money, maybe if insurance was covering at 100 percent. I think uh, history is important. And that's a pretty beautiful fountain with an elk and, and running water and stuff. I was like, how could you not want that back? The Thompson Elk Fountain is named for former Portland mayor David P. Thompson. In 1900, he commissioned the now historic landmark to honor the Oregon Humane Society, which he co-founded. Over 120 years, historians recorded about 30 major protests at the Elk Fountain. So what made those in 2020 so different? Well, for one, the basins were empty. Because of COVID, the city had shut down all the fountains. So fires set here caused damage that had never been done before. We think the best insurance policy against that kind of vandalism is to have water in the fountains. <laughs> and then also, you know, there will be some, you know, uh, graffiti treatment for it. So graffiti can be easily removed. A plan like no other to lead this elk back to water. In downtown Portland, Catherine Cook, KGW News.